What's up everybody, Andrew Steele here. In today's video, I want to show you the coolest fifth wheel floor plates. They're actually starting to design some really cool stuff and as you can see, I'm in this beautiful fifth wheel, but I want to show you a few of the things that make this fifth wheel unique. So, got this beautiful island, beautiful table. You've got reclining sitting chairs with cool lighting below, a huge sofa back there with a real nice fireplace that actually comes up, the TV comes up and down. But the thing that I really like about this coach is this special room here. So, this is like, a whole bedroom in itself that can be used as an office or a second bedroom. You've got a really nice couch right here and then a desk area with the TV here. Shoot, I'll even sit down here. I've got my backpack on, but as you can see, I've got plenty of room in this. You can see my arm, I'm leaning forward. I can't even reach that wall. A really nice room. Now I'm 6'2 and yeah, I can stand up completely straight without hitting my head. Now, we'll duck it a little bit as I go through that. Now, this the, the storage space in this coach does not stop. It's got a loft area up here as well, which is really cool. And I do like, like some of the decor that they're doing, like these valances, and then you've got lighting here. Really cool, cool ceiling work there. And this bathroom is probably one of the most beautiful bathrooms I've seen in any fifth wheel. You've got LED lighting there around the sink. You've got a very cool little shower here with a really cool pattern. And I really like this clear piece of glass. So this is actually like a walk-in shower. Like I've got my back, huge backpack on here, but you can see I can walk right into this, this shower and it's actually really big. And it even has this kind of teak thing that you can pull out and sit on. And we'll take a look at the master bedroom while we're up here. We've got a king size bed. I love the headboard with the kind of barnwood look. You've got pre-plumb for a washer dryer set up there and a ton of wardrobe space here. Very cool floor plan. Now let's go take a look at a couple of the other top floor plans that I've been able to find at the show here. I'm in the Alpine 3800FK and this has a front kitchen as well. This is super cool here. I absolutely love this booth area. And then you've got just a ton of countertop space here, probably three or four feet of countertop space. Sale price on this rig of 70,000. And I absolutely love the window up front here with the front sink. And this is just a ton of room. I'm 6'2", I've got plenty of room and just a beautiful floor plan with the central living area. You've got a ton of sitting space with the three different sofas. You've got heated and cooled cup holders. How cool is that? And I love the fireplace design that they're doing with the huge TV. And then a nice good sized bathroom back here. Look how tall the ceilings are. Beautiful bedroom back here. I love these rear bedroom floor plans because as a tall guy, you've got tons of headroom and it just really makes it feel open. And when you're in your bedroom, you feel like you've got, you're not, um, you know, crammed in here. You, you really have plenty of room. And then the rear window out the bedroom really helps open it up as well. And I have to say, these RV companies are starting to get with the times. Very cool headboard. I love the color of the woodwork. Another awesome new floor plan. Out of all of the fifth wheels that I have been in, this Grand Design Solitude is my favorite. Now, you're probably wondering why. It does have a $115,000 MSRP and an $89,000 show price. So the thing I really like about this coach is how big this living area is. You've got your sink right here and it's just a really open floor plan, huge residential refrigerator, a huge island in the middle. The kitchen continues to extend with a huge pantry right here all the way to your TV and fireplace area. You've got huge sitting in the rear of the coach as well as two recliners with the TV trays, a nice sitting area, 
and even a nice kind of uh, entryway nook here where you can hang your coats and even like kind of like a little bench there where you can maybe um, store shoes under there. But the part that I really like about this coach is the front bedroom area and it's got a complete front bathroom. That's what I really like is this huge bathroom here. So how beautiful is this with the ambient lighting around the mirror and it is just huge. You've got actually even like a walk-in closet up here. So the bathroom I walked into and then I can actually walk into this other closet. You've got wardrobe here, more wardrobe here, tons of shoe space over there, the double doors and the shower right there. And then nice uh, storage here as well. So this is the Grand Design Solitude. So here's another Keystone Montana. And this coach has a huge rear living area. And then it has a half bathroom right here. Really good size half bathroom. Got a ton of space in here. But the really cool thing about this is it actually has a bath and a half. And a huge front bathroom up here so you've got your double vanity even a little chair to sit in right there a huge front closet with wardrobe that goes all the way across a nice shoe rack i like the flooring in there and just a really cool floor plan i love the headboard really flows well A nice pantry. I like all the lighting they're doing. Keystone Montana with a bath and a half. This is the 3761 Keystone Montana has a sale price of $80,000. And it's got a bath and a half as well. with the closet area kind of in the middle here and then the front living area up there and just absolutely beautiful with the nice refrigerator half bathroom and then this huge front living area to so this solitude 380 fl has the awesome floor plan with the front living room you've got a rear kitchen area a nice little nook area there huge residential refrigerator huge island in the middle and then you've got a half bathroom right here and i really like the lighting that they did around the door really big pantry pantry here but the awesome part about this coach is this huge rear living area with the huge rear bath here so how cool is this huge rear bath? I really like how much they're changing the overall designs of these fifth wheels. For decades and decades, it seems like every fifth wheel had the same floor plan. And the, the really cool thing about this rear floor plan is actually the storage below. Because you've got an elevated rear bedroom here, I've still got plenty of headroom, but I'm gonna show you here in a second all of the rear storage. So how cool is this cool barn style door? And then a ton of storage right there. And it's pre-plumbed for a washer and dryer as well. So, I mean, just look at the size of this countertop and how it wraps around. I mean, this is huge. And then you've got a huge shower. See, just like with my backpack on, I walked right in the shower. I still have headroom, awesome coat. So, I don't know, these two grand designs are my two favorites. I'm still debating on which floor plan I like more. Uh, they definitely are awesome, but I think this one takes the cake because of all of the awesome rear, all of the awesome storage in the underbelly here. So look at this. You've got full pass-through storage, and then you've got another pass-through storage bay that's huge with a rear storage bay, and you can open this up. And then as you can see right there, this is actually a tray that actually pulls out. So. I mean, we're talking like just tons and tons of storage. And 
The other thing that I like about this coach that probably makes it my favorite is the full body paint with the silver, black, and white color scheme. Probably the best looking fifth wheel on the road in my opinion. The last few coaches I showed you guys we're all just fifth wheels. This is actually a fifth wheel toy hauler and it's a little dark in here, but hopefully the camera is able to pick up. This is like a 30 foot garage, or I don't even know how big this garage is, but you can see you've got the rear ramp there and they've got it closed up right now. And then you've got just a ton of open space and just look how tall the ceilings are. Like seriously, it feels like I'm in a gymnasium right now. You've got a huge TV, bunch of recliners over here and this is just a cool wide open floor plan and i like it actually it's really cool sometimes lesser is better let's see what's going on up here you've still got a really cool bathroom and the rest of the floor plan is very similar to a lot of other fifth wheels on the market but it's nice when you come out of your bedroom down here you've got just a huge i mean you could like literally throw a football around in here i i cannot get over how big this whole room is so definitely one of my top picks for the nicest floor plan of the 2020 fifth wheels and this is a vortex fifth wheel here Okay, so right now I am in the Forest River Sabre 37 FLH. And this is a really cool floor plan here. It's got a front living area. And I like these kind of different style design here. You've got a huge TV with the fireplace. And they've got these ACs cranking right now because it's so hot here. So very cool front living area and then a huge kitchen in the middle here huge tv you've got the big island kind of a booth style sitting area over there this has got a show price of forty eight thousand dollars oh you've got a so you've got a mid bath here so this coach actually has two bathrooms you've got a half bath right here which is beautiful I love the white brick style backsplash. And then this is very cool because you pretty much have your entire rear suite back here where you could close this off. I'm gonna actually close this off. And with that door closed, it doesn't feel small in here at all. You've got a huge rear bathroom. I love the headboard uh, finish on the bed there. And then this is what makes this coach so awesome is an absolutely huge rear bathroom you've got a window right here to allow light to come in you've got double vanity sinks here a really big shower let me step in this i know my buddy big tony would have no problem in this shower tons of room here and just i've got my backpack on just tons of tons of room back here and look at all this storage i just opened this up even with this huge bathroom there's a huge area for storage right there you've got your medicine cabinets more storage under the sink and then a lot of good storage right here too so another beautiful coach let me go see what other cool floor plans i can find for you guys this is a really cool uh floor plan this is a forest river and it's very similar to other coaches but i have to show you that kind of a cool barn door and i like the colors that they're using but the very unique thing about this floor plan and this coach, kind of a normal bathroom that you would normally see. I like the little panels that they're doing. They're doing a great job with the colors. Big TV, beautiful fireplace there. Huge refrigerator, kind of a barnwood style finish. But here's where the floor plan gets really cool. This is a bunkhouse model and it's got a huge rear bedroom back here and i know you've seen rear bedrooms before with all these bunks and those are cool but it has a second rear bathroom here with a full shower there the thing that makes this really unique is it's got a rear door here and this is the first fifth wheel that i've actually seen a rear door so you can go right into the bathroom here the kids can get showered up and then go into the bunkhouse without dragging through the entire coach here. So this is the Salem Hempshire 356 QB. They're really doing a great job at designing all of these new fifth wheels. 
greatly appreciate all of you watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this. I greatly appreciate all of you. Hope you're all having a great day.